Franco Shoshahi. He's not only the CEO of Uber, but he also is a member of the NYSE's Board Advisory Council. We're going to talk to him about diverse boards and how important it is to him. So last time you were here, your company went public, right? So how do you feel being back here again? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, I think this is a historical place, this building, the floor, you know, the exchange. Diversity and the advisory council being a part of that. Where do you see the role of the New York Stock Exchange being a part of this whole experience and really helping create diverse boards? Well, I think diversity is the team sport. And a lot of diversity at board levels actually comes from networking and relationships. The NYC represents the greatest companies on a global basis. So these companies getting to meet each other, putting forth diverse candidates is an incredibly important part of networking opportunities. And we want to essentially have the wisdom of the crowd and the NYAC is quite a crowd. Did you ever think growing up that you would one day be walking on the floor of this historical institution on the board of the Advisory Council making change in society today? I would never expect it. <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm going to tell my mom about it tonight at dinner. It'll be pretty cool. So as a business leader, how important is the future of board diversity to you? Well, it's enormously important because ultimately the board is accountable for the CEO and the governance of companies out there. And ultimately, if you want companies to represent societies at large, the boards that are governing those companies have to do the same. And how important is accountability to keep the boards diverse as well? Accountability first comes with measurement, right? At Uber, for example, four out of our 11 directors are women. It starts with measurement and transparency and then the results flow from there usually. Absolutely, and how has board diversity been implemented in not only your personal life, but professional life? We are driving diversity at all levels of the company. We want to make sure Uber looks a lot more like Uber customers all over the world. Absolutely. And the same is true at the board level. So it affects how we do our business, it affects how we run marketing, how we build product, how we build tech, et cetera. And being a part of all of this, what would you say is the most meaningful part of this whole experience? I'm an immigrant. I came to the U.S. when I was nine years old, came from a very different background. This place was totally foreign to me at the time that I came, and I'm sure I kind of looked a little foreign to folks here as well. But I was lucky enough to be accepted into the society, to have the opportunities to succeed here. I want to create that same opportunity for young people who are rising up to go out and open those doors. And what would be your advice to future CEOs? What would your advice be to them? Well, my advice would be that diversity takes work. Homogenous teams actually think they do better. You all agree, you have the same background, you look at problems and solutions the same way, versus diverse teams who are actually much more effective. But that effectiveness comes from a diversity of viewpoints. You have to hash things out. You often disagree to get to a better viewpoint and a better result. You obviously have a huge reach. Have you endured any challenges? And if you have, how did you overcome those? What Americans care about may be different from what our clients in India care about. So while you have to have a global culture, you also have to have a very local culture and you have to make sure that diversity exists, not just globally, but then locally in every single local team on the ground. We're certainly making our headway at Uber, but we've got a lot of work to do. Amazing, well, thank you so much for joining me, Jara. Thank you, happy to do it.